There you are. Rai said you'd be coming by. I'm Karim. Crane. An American. I have an uncle there. Lives in Texas. You from Texas? You a cowboy? I'm from Chicago. Okay, Al Capone. We'll be in constant contact over the radio. That way I can make sure you get where you need to go. And where's that exactly? You're going to be climbing antenna towers and switching on shortwave radio modulators. Most of my men are too slow, too fat, or too drunk to climb a tower like that without killing themselves. If I do this, I'll get the answers in? That's between you and Rice. I know better than to speak for him. Just don't fail. He doesn't handle disappointment very well. You here to join? <laughs> Shit, you would have blessed. Just met a guy named Kareem. He's like Rice's major domo, I guess. Or number one flunky at the very least. Kareem's sending me to fix some antennas for Rice. Nothing better than being an errand boy. Crane. Report. Just met Rise. There's no question, that's Suleiman. Guy's a psychopath. He's gone from ruthless politician to fucking warlord. Is he aware of your affiliation with us? No. He thinks I'm just a guy from the tower. In fact, he's making me jump through hoops before he'll give me any antizen. Acknowledged. Continue to do as he asks. Remember, we need that file. Great. Crane out. What exactly am I doing? Radio communication has been pretty spotty in the quarantine. These modulators will help boost the signal, so Rise can communicate with Outlaws at the far reaches of town. Well, that's a benefit for everyone, not just Rise. Perhaps, but the Emperor must monitor his empire. Kareem, I'm at the first antenna. If the power's not on, you'll have to turn it on. There'll be a switch in the small building at the antenna's base. I'm shouting because this fucked up infected motherfucker with guts hanging out of his mouth just spit a bunch of toxic snot at me. Not a bad reason. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, shit. Kareem, someone already scavenged this thing for parts. There's nothing up here to switch on. Fuck, I was afraid of that. All right, head to the next antenna tower. It's not too far from there. Just use the zip line and head east. You'll see it. Kareem, what do I do if the second transmitter's trashed? The better question is, what will you do if you disappoint Rice? And the answer is probably, die horribly. Kareem, I'm at the second antenna tower. The fence is electrified. I think someone's inside. That will be Alexei, and probably his son Kristoff. I find them tiresome. Don't let them stand in your way. You've got to get inside and turn on the transmitter. What the fuck do you want? I need to climb the tower. Why the hell would you want to do that? For Rise. He asked me to. Rice? <laughs> you don't look like one of his crew. Oh, fine. I'll just radio back and tell Rise that you wouldn't let me through. What? Fuck. No, no, no. I didn't say that. You want to climb? Fine. Go, go. I won't do this anymore. Will you keep your voice down? I don't care who hears me. worth it. <laughs> and this thing's still intact. Let's see if it was worth the hassle. Hey Kareem, second transmitter's up and running. Is it working? Kareem, do you hear me? Loud and clear. Nice job. You know the way back, right? Right. Communication. 
station is crystal clear now. Good job, man. This helps everybody, but especially Dr. Zera and Dr. Camden. They can hear each other without static for the first time since... Well, Evan. See you back at the tower. to know. My name is Troy. I lead a small group of survivors over in Sector Zero. We call ourselves the Embers. Sector Zero is completely sealed off. Mr. Crane, until you restored radio communication, we didn't know if anyone else in the city was alive. I just wanted to let you know how grateful we are. You've given us a small measure of hope. Uh, well, I'm happy to help. If there's ever any way we can help you, Mr. Crane, Please, don't hesitate to ask. The job's done. Now it's time to get back to Rice and get that antizen. You not only did the job Karim asked of you, but you made it back in one piece. Bravo. Can I get some answers in now? Did you think I would be satisfied so easily? You still have plenty to prove. Look, we really need the drugs. Let me have them now, and then I'll come back and do whatever. You'll get Antazin when I say you get it, not one second before. But, as I have established, I am not unreasonable. Do all that I ask of you, and I will give you not one, but two crates of Antazin. All right, fine. What do you want me to do? This will be different from your exploits on the antennas. It will require a bit more persuasion. The imposing of one's will, the creation of one's own rules, that is what makes a man. Do you live by your own rules, Crane? Or are you merely someone else's puppet? I believe I know the answer. Talk to Karim before I decide you are no longer worth the trouble. I wonder if those fucking biters can still think. <laughs> <laughs> 